What's up everyone? All right, we are gonna try some new makeup today. Well, some of this I've had for like a hot minute and I have a story about one of them that I'm like, have I had this too long without trying it? We'll talk about it. Okay, let me, let me back it up. The reason I wanted to film this video today is because I was grocery shopping the other day and you know, just naturally perusing the makeup aisles while I was there. And I found something in stock that I feel like has been out of stock everywhere I've looked. So I was like, oh my gosh, I wanna try it. And then I saw another thing that I was like, oh my gosh. So that's what we're gonna be starting with. It's this bad boy right here. So this is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. This bad boy is like $20. <laughs> I think I got it for a little, I'm pretty sure it was on sale, but it's just one of those things that definitely wait for a sale because to pay $20 for this, I mean, I don't know, maybe it's gonna be awesome and I'll say it's totally worth it, but again, the drugstore prices are going up there, baby. But I kind of guessed on my shade, this is their 0.5 to two, very light. So when I was reading about it, let me kind of pull up what I was looking at. It says it's makeup and skincare, it's the perfect match. The first tinted serum with 1% hyaluronic acid, it brightens, evens, and hydrates all in one for a nude, radiant finish. The hyaluronic acid instantly hydrates and smooths while luminous mineral pigments give lightweight coverage for a brightened complexion. Yeah, so paraben-free, fragrance-free. It says to use your fingers. I use my fingers on plenty of things, but sometimes with something this thin, I don't know. I just, I love my beauty sponge. I use it for like everything. So I'm gonna try one half with my hands and then we'll see if I wanna dip into the sponge. But it says to apply it directly to the face. I don't really know. I have no idea how much to use. That was probably too much. Maybe I'll kind of spread it out, spread the love. All right, so I've done half of my face. This is without, I have sunscreen on that I put on earlier, but this is with nothing on it. And this is with the product on it. I definitely feel like it got rid of the little bit of redness I have, I feel like is gone over there. So I'll give it credit for that. It definitely blended in quickly. I thought it would be kind of streaky, but it's not. But I've not had great experience with these kinds of products at the drugstore. And y'all know I love drugstore makeup, but I don't know what it is. But this looks pretty nice. I wouldn't say this is something that's gonna like cover a lot. I mean, I think you can see that as I'm blending it in and stuff. It's not, of course, I just dipped my hair in it. Oh my gosh. This is, this is way too much again. How have I not learned my lesson? But I haven't minded blending it in with my hands. That's something that's kind of surprising me. The products that I like tend to use with my hands would be Tinted moisturizers, I don't mind that, but usually those are a little bit thicker because they have more of like a moisturizer feel to them. I don't know why like thin serum foundations feel weird to apply with my hands. I don't know, man, what do you guys think? I feel like it looks kind of nice, right? Like I said, it didn't take long to do that. I feel like it looks pretty. This is not gonna be something that's gonna cover every imperfection you've ever had. I also could see where if you have dry patches, you might not love this because I could see where a product like this might catch on to that weirdly. But if you feel like you've got decently hydrated skin, you might like this. It is interesting though, that this is a hot, like a hydrating serum foundation because I feel like even on my nose where I have a little bit of dryness, it's catching just a little bit oddly. Not so bad that I wouldn't wear it. Like there are certain other products. Hold on, let me let Pinocchio in. He's joining us. Yeah, I just feel like other serum foundations I've tried sit even weirder on the nose and they wear weirdly. So I'm curious to see how this, especially as I put like some powder and stuff on top, but yeah, so far I'm liking it, but it is very low coverage. Okay, this is the thing that I was like, is this too old to even be using? I am not sure. It's from Revolution. It's their Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer. It wasn't that long ago that I bought this. I bought this thinking, hey, I wonder if it's a dupe for like the Charlotte Tilbury one that looks like this, where it's got like this kind of, packaging. I was twisting it up earlier to see and make sure it was okay. And by the time I finally got the product to like come up through here, it was like real oily and weird. So I think it had just separated a little bit, but now that I've like gone through it, it's looking like hydrating concealer. But now I'm like, is that how the concealer is supposed to be? Or is it because <laughs> it's like separated? I have no idea. So we're going to jump into this. Sorry. I'm like the worst YouTuber ever. I should have tried this a long time ago, but let's just kind of see. I think this may be one of those things I blend in with my finger. Let's just try it that way. Cause it's real thin and lightweight. And obviously the idea is it's supposed to brighten considering the name. All right. So comparing with and without, I mean, it definitely looks better with, this is definitely my kind of concealer for most days, unless I'm like doing full coverage type stuff, which is not super often. 
once or twice a month maybe. So for every day, it's got like a medium-ish amount of coverage. It blended in really quickly with the finger. I can try it with a brush, but I don't really want to. But I will just for the sake of this video. I love using a concealer brush, don't get me wrong. It's just this kind of thinner concealer doesn't always do well with a brush. We'll see. Sometimes you never know. I need to make some more coffee. I've got just water with me and it is pretty rare that I like sit down to do a video and I don't have my coffee or tea. I feel like naked without it now. <laughs> yeah, I mean that honestly that worked just fine with the brush too. So I think you could do it either way. I have to say right off the bat, this is something I'm gonna bring home and use like put in my little everyday makeup drawer because this really is the kind of concealer I like and already just with one use, I feel like it looks natural. It doesn't look dry and crepey. It covers just enough so, and it's pretty. Obviously the packaging, I don't mind this kind of thing, but I know some people do, but the one thing that drives me nuts is instantly, I just opened this today, I've already got concealer all over the place, no matter how careful I am, so. It's just not the greatest design, you know? But I like that Revolution always does like little touches. They even have like this cute little engraved R at the top of this. Like they didn't have to do that, but they did. It's pretty. So I'm gonna throw on my brows real fast and then probably a couple other things and I'll be right back. All right, so the things I just did or just put on my face, I put on the e.l.f. Wow Brow in my brows. Y'all know, if you've been watching, this is like my favorite brow product ever. It is so good, it's four bucks. Um, and then the e.l.f. H2O Proof Eyeliner Pen is the eyeliner I have on. <laughs> I actually, I was kind of looking around at what I just grabbed and I was like, oh, those were like mostly drugstore, but then I used this eyeshadow palette that is like astronomically priced, but I really like it. Uh, it's the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. This was a splurge and I love it. Anyway, and then, oh, bronzer I threw on. Oh my gosh, one of my favorites. This is the second one I bought, uh, the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. I have it in the 01 light shade, love that. Anyway, so uh, let's move on. I have a mascara I wanna try. If you saw, it was a few vlogs ago I bought on Thrive Market this mascara. It's the Pacifica Stellar Gaze Length and Strength Mineral Mascara. Honestly, I tried a Pacifica blush in the shade Camellia and I fell in love with it. And I was like, dang, I feel like Pacifica is a brand that I used to try bits of like four or five years ago, but I have not like tried recently. So loving that made me wanna try more. So that's why I was like, maybe I'll try this. We'll see. <laughs> I feel like I've been liking a lot of mascaras more because I have been using a lash serum and my lashes are longer than normal and thicker. And so I feel like because I just like my natural lashes more than I used to, I'm tending to like a lot of mascaras more too. So I'm trying to be a little more discerning about them because I like my lashes, but they're not like wildly still like long and thick. You know, they're like people that like naturally have the most redonkulous lashes. You're like, how are those your lashes? They look so ridiculous. And so I used to watch people with those kinds of lashes and they'd be like, I love this mascara. I'm like, but honey, you don't even need the help. Your lashes are so good. So not that I am at that level. I am not, I know that. <laughs> but my point is, I know that I'm like digging my natural lashes lately, so I'm trying to be better about like, okay, but is this mascara actually good? If you wanna know what last year, my gosh, I talk about this last year in every video, I've gotta shut up. It's the Grande one, it's so good, it's expensive. This is not sponsored, they don't, they're not paying me. I buy them all on my own. <laughs> okay, so this has like the most ginormo wand on, <laughs> this is big. All right, let's just dive right in. Because I'm pushing this so much to get it on there, I feel like I keep getting the, you know, the top of my lashes are like hitting the, my actual eye. So I feel like it's like lengthening a little bit. It's volumizing a little bit, but this is not doing it for me. I don't hate the way it looks. I know myself and I like something that's a little bit easier to work with. I feel like, first of all, this is, this is too big. I like a big brush, but this is just a little bit too big. So it's like uncomfortable. I just think it's okay. I'll probably use it more and like it fine. But my true test would be like, would I buy this again? I don't foresee myself buying it again. You never know. Mascaras, especially, you know, once you try them more and more, you sometimes get to that point where you're like, oh, it took a few weeks and then it dried out more, or you know what I mean, where you finally hit that like sweet spot in the mascara formula. So time will tell, but just first glance, it's, it's not bad but it's not the greatest I've ever tried. Yeah, and I am just making a mess of this. I don't have this problem like crazy with other mascaras. I'll get like little dots up there from it, definitely, but 
Um, actually, there's an end of a vlog I did recently and the whole last like five minutes, I have like mascara all up there and it is so obvious, at least to me, that while I was watching, I was like, oh my gosh, like, it was driving me nuts. And I don't think a single one of you guys commented on it. And I'm like, y'all bless you because <laughs> it drove me bonkers. But you guys were like, eh, whatever. Yeah, I just feel like it's it's just not comfortable to apply because of the giant wand, but it doesn't look terrible. Have you guys been into like not wearing anything on the lower lash? I have really been into that the past like year. I don't know, I feel like it makes my eyes look bigger. It, I don't know, I've just been really digging it. All right, this was the other thing I bought at the store the other day that I was like, Ooh. and this is from Milani. This is not new technically, because they've had this line for a while. It's like their rose powder blush. This is number one, Romantic Rose. Let's go back in Jessie's nostalgic memory of Milani products, because I recall when these launched a long time ago or a while back, they had shades that were pretty. Like I remember owning one or two of them and liking the formula, but they were always a little much for my skin tone because I am fair. And so I eventually, I think, got rid of them because I was like, I'm not reaching for them. I have to be so careful with them. But when I saw this, this is like the lightest peach shade that I was like, excuse me, let's try it. So that is why I bought it. The other piece of this to know is I feel like, and I don't know if I've noticed this with Milani as much. There are some brands that like, I feel like they'll launch a certain color. I feel like e.l.f. is guilty of this. A certain color of blush will look different, whether you like order it online or you're getting it in store. I'll even see like in store the same blush from e.l.f. and I'll look at them side by side and they're different colors, like different enough that it's obvious. So I always wonder that like, is this number one romantic rose gonna look like this for everyone or was it just the batch that my store had? Just saying. Oh yes, 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 yes. Okay, I know what some of you guys are thinking. Jessica, that's not even that obvious. This is what I want in a blush. I want it to be so easy to apply because it's like closer to my skin tone that I can't screw it up. Don't you guys want that? Or are you someone that like likes to like work at it? <laughs> I just wanna be able to go in with reckless abandon, not even really think about it and it still look Nice, like that is exactly what I want. <laughs> Milani. If you have this shade, you let me know. Is yours as light as this? The blush brush I just used was the Bare Minerals Blooming Blush. When I got it, it like had these like indents in it just from the packaging. I probably need to like wash it to like actually get rid of it. That means I didn't wash it when I got it. I know some of you guys are judging. 80% of you guys are like, yeah, you buy the brush and you use it right away, right? <laughs> All right, so this I don't think is new, but y'all it's new to me, so we're including it. <laughs> It's the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Little Liquid Highlighter. This I have been dying to try and I just hadn't found like the right video to test it in, but I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. It's got the little dropper. They say you can mix it with stuff or you can just put it on top like a highlighter. We're gonna use it on top. Obviously I didn't wanna mix it with this just cause I wanted to see what the foundation on its own looks like. We're just gonna try it. Ooh. Ooh. All right, as long as you blend it in quickly enough, definitely is pretty, like without and with, you can see it. I just feel like you could tend to, you know, depending on how you apply it, if you are like wild and free like me, you just kind of slap it on and hope for the best. So I feel like you can do that with this. You just don't want to like wait a long time because I could see this like sticking in place and not blending. But as long as you go right in, I feel like that looks pretty. Let's put a little extra I love putting highlight in the brow bone. It's definitely more like of an oily consist. It's not like oily, but it definitely, you can feel that in it, which means blending it in is easy. I'll show you all this in natural light here in a bit. So you can kind of see how this especially looks like in the light where like, you know, the way you'd actually see it versus like with the help of a nice camera and studio lights. I'm gonna throw on my Sephora creme de la creme nude lip liner, I talk about this a lot. It's just such a good nude and it's like, I wanna say like 10 or 12 bucks and it's so good. They have a lot of different shades too, but I'm gonna color it all the way in cause I'm gonna top it with this gloss. It's like pretty on its own, isn't it? So I'm gonna throw on this e.l.f. lip plumping gloss. You guys know I love this. I have it in Champagne Glam. It's just pretty. It works for any color. You know, you just throw it on top of stuff cause it is kind of more sheer with a slight bit of like a peach tone, but not enough that it's gonna like crazily affect what you got going on underneath, you know? So that's everything we're gonna try. So kind of to go back through ranking them, I would say the thing I'm the most excited to use again is the blush. As boring as that may be, man, when you find a blush color that works really well for you. I will say this formula, what I remember about it is that it does wear a long time. Like it's not gonna wear off if you're taking a mask on and off and stuff like that. 
it lasts a long time. So to find a color finally in this range that works for me, I am pumped about. Next thing I'm excited to use again, and let me kind of look, yeah, is this concealer from Revolution, their Eye Bright. I just feel like it was so easy. It brightened enough. I just really liked it. The foundation, this is gonna be a trial and error. I like the way it looks right now, but it's gonna be one of those things, I've gotta try it for a couple weeks to really be able to let you know how I feel, you know, how does it wear with certain primers, certain sunscreens, certain powders. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it though, and I feel like the shade was pretty a pretty good match for me. These last two, the mascara is definitely lowest on my list. I will use it more, but it not gonna be a repurchase. The Lumi, I think is really pretty. I have no complaints, so I'll keep playing with this too, mixing it with some like maybe more high coverage foundations that I want, or maybe I should say more like mattifying foundations that I want to add that glow to. I think this would be pretty, it'd even be pretty mixed with like a tinted moisturizer to give like a glowy look. So let me show you what this looks like in natural light. So like, you know, with this foundation product or the tinted serum foundation, you can definitely still see like freckles and stuff like that. I don't mind that. But if, you, if that is something you're wanting to cover, if you have a bunch of breakouts, that's probably not gonna be the product for you. But if you just feel like you want a general bit of like de-redifying, you know what I mean? And a little bit of coverage, but you still want it to look like skin, that's pretty good. And then the blush, you know I'm loving. I feel like the concealer still looks good too. Again, it's not gonna cover crazy amounts. I don't mind that though. I feel like, again, when you're looking at me up close, I don't feel like you're looking at crepiness on my under eye and things like that. I just feel like it looks a little more natural. I feel like the highlight looks really nice in natural light. That was the one thing I was like, maybe it'll look weird or metallic, but I mean, it definitely, you can tell I'm wearing highlight, but I feel like it looks really pretty. So, so that's everything. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I love doing these. I will follow this up with a speed review style video in a month or two once I've tried these longer. That's kind of just the way I do it the way I try new makeup. But if you wanna watch more trying new makeup videos, I will link my playlist below if you wanna binge watch some of those right now. And I hope that you'll subscribe if you enjoyed it. I do makeup videos here, but I also do a lot of vlogs, some grocery hauls, just different things like that. I'd love to have you join our little family here and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.